Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another sweet episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays and this is going to be week 15 already. Man did that go fast. Starting into our number 5 play we have Leaf Four Plus playing on Vayne and she's not doing that hot as of right now. The enemy Raj can kill her if he lands one snare so she's trying to play it safe. As you see Katarina is waiting in the bush for the initiate and the enemy actually will actually shoot an arrow towards Vayne. She will dodge it with Tumble at the perfect time avoiding the stun and her death. And now she's going to pop out doing some damage flashing away making sure the Rise can't land the snare. Killing Ash for her first kill and then she's going to Tumble away picking up a double kill for a 3 for 0 exchange. Both the Mumu and Vayne very low in health. Great play in general. Spinning into fourth place, we have I Dynasty on Katarina, and as of right now, the Nexus is being attacked by the entire enemy team, and normally most players would just give up, but not this Katarina. As you see, Jax has just fallen, now they begin wailing on the Nexus, and here comes Katarina shumpoing and popping Death Lotus, picking up a quick triple kill, and now she will head over and shumpo to Oriana, and now watch how low this Nexus will fall as Oriana will flash to try to pull off the win for her team, but will fail. Now the center will try to run, but it will be no use as she will run into a pro team with Mushroom, and Katarina will end up picking up this unofficial pentakill and ace for her team. Now we're going to fast forward this a little bit as you see Wukong starts pushing the enemy Nexus turrets with the Kree wave as the enemy team is ready to jump in to stop him when they respawn, but it's all over as Katarina will join him and they will pull off this incredible turnaround win. Just an absolutely amazing play in general. Coming in at third place, we have T-Steph on Gragas using his ultimate for a not-so-ordinary reason. Right now, they're kind of hanging back, waiting for York to initiate, and he will do that with his slowdown. And now Gragas will toss out a barrel, trying to do some nice damage to the Akali. As she comes out of stealth, and now she's taking lots of damage and will flash away. And we're going to watch this one more time in slow motion, as Gragas will use his ultimate to knock the two enemy players away from Akali, allowing a nice, clean, open shot from Kaelin, and a guaranteed kill that would not have happened otherwise. I'm going to play the rest of this clip so you guys can see what ends up happening in this awesome play. But they will end up tower diving, and throughout this clip, they will pick up a few kills and a couple deaths for their team. But ultimately, they will go 4 and 2 in this entire clip. Landing our second place spot, we have Volf doing some crazy good juking on Jax as he gets caught by the enemy team near his blue buff and they will just melt through his health bar. But Singe will make the mistake to fling him at the end here so he will start running and now Gragas is going to miss his charge right there and he's going to pretend to go to the right here and juke out Gragas's barrel but he will not. And now Gragas will yet again miss his charge. He will make his way towards this bush as he sees the creeps coming and now he will leap to one of the creeps avoiding another charge and Gragas will toss the barrel into there juking that out. Turning around stunning the Gragas, seeing Singe there he has no other choice but to go up top using that run speed he got from his dodge avoiding another barrel here and now he will suicide but make Gragas waste his flash and singe his ultimate an incredible display of reaction time and agility. And for our number one pro play for this week we have Magnum Lowell pulling off a sick pentakill on Italy which isn't all that common. So right now his team is losing this team fight as you see Jarman has hopped onto Zillion. Zillion will pop his ultimate on himself keeping himself alive and nearly will pick up her first kill on the Jarvan with Ignite there. Doing lots of damage to scare the enemy team off their towers. So now she's going to hop in there, picking up the double kill on the Rambus, following the misfortune, and then pick up the triple kill, hopping out of cap form, tossing a max range spear, picking up the quadra kill on the Sivir, and then hopping on the rise as he flashes, picking up the pentakill, turning this team fight into a win for his team and a devastating loss for the opposing team. And our player's choice winner for week two is, drumroll. Super Blanc, and he or she will win a $10 Riot card. Please make sure you guys go to our website, which is potatomonster.com, on this Tuesday to Thursday to vote for the winner of week three, and a $10 Riot card will go to them as well. We have around 1,000 people voting weekly, and we'd like to see that number grow, so please check out the three new clips on Tuesday and vote for the one that made you laugh the hardest, took the most skill, or whatever you guys are feeling. Thanks for watching, and you guys enjoy your weekend.